Hey, this is Nick with Android Fan Network, and I'm going to be doing a quick review of H2O Wireless, the AT&T prepaid provider. So first I'd like to start out with why I chose an AT&T prepaid provider over a T-Mobile prepaid provider. Now as you can see here, I have a Google Nexus 4, so I can utilize AT&T and T-Mobile's 3G networks, but I chose AT&T for one very good reason, I think. Basically, they offer the best coverage. Now we have T-Mobile here with their very fast data speeds. You can get 15 megabytes per second down, two up, two or three up, while AT&T is on more of like a six down, one up. But their coverage is way better than T-Mobile's. Uh, I live in the south, and in a lot of smaller towns and on the highway, I'll only get a 2G signal on T-Mobile, while I'll notice AT&T phones are still holding onto a 3G signal of like two or three bars. So I chose AT&T over T-Mobile basically because of coverage and they're fast enough. Now why did I choose H2O out of all the AT&T prepaid providers? Why did I choose H2O? Basically I chose H2O because I believe it's the best deal. For $60 a month I get unlimited minutes, texting, and 2 gigabytes of data. Now on all the other similar plans from Straight Talk or Net 10, those are roughly 50 bucks a month, but you only get a gigabyte and a half. They've recently capped it. Or I, th I believe it's starting uh, in March. They're capping it to 1.5 gigabytes. So for an extra 10 bucks, I get half a gig. And that's a pretty good deal because really a gig and a half isn't enough. Look at Good to Go Wireless. They offer $50, they charge $50 for one gigabyte of data, and that's really not enough. So for an extra 10 bucks, an extra gig of data is definitely worth it. When we compare H202 and AT&T contract price, you're looking at $90 with, for 3 gigabytes of data. And so for uh, saving $30, just losing 1 gigabyte of data is absolutely worth it. Now, you won't have LTE, of course, but if you're Google, using a Google Nexus 4, you won't have LTE anyway. And HSPA or 3G is still fast enough to do pretty much anything. Now, to get the service, I had to order an activation kit. You can order these from H2O, and they're a couple bucks or free, but you also have to buy your service card at the same time. So I purchased mine on eBay without that. Basically, you get an activation kit like this. It's like this. Open up the SIM card is in there. You just go to h2o.com, or h2owireless.com, I think. You click activate, and if you're not porting your number in, just fill in the information there and click submit, and you'll have your num a new number, and your SIM card will work instantly. If you need to port in like I did, I ported in from uh, GoPhone, AT&T's own prepaid provider. If you need to port in, there's a link at the top there that says click me or click here if you need to port in. So you enter all your old carrier's information, and you port in. It, takes, it took four to six hours for me. And I was coming from an AT&T, another AT&T provider. If you're coming from T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint, or some other provider, it may take a little longer. But AT&T prepaid to AT&T prepaid was pretty quick. All right, now let's take a look at how fast it is. Now, I ran two speed tests just a few minutes ago, or one a few minutes ago, one a little earlier in the day. I'd run another one now, but I just don't want to waste my data. I don't really have enough of that. Two gigabytes should be enough, just don't waste it. Alright, so you can see there I have over 6 megabytes down each time. The top and then the third down are my 3G speeds on H2O. And over 1 megabyte up. So those are good speeds. And the ping isn't very high at all. It's actually a very good ping speed for a network. Alright, now let's go watch a YouTube video. I have here um, a Minecraft video and I'm on the 3G network. And let's watch it in HQ because the network can definitely handle HQ. Hit HQ there. Alright, as you can see, it's loading actually pretty quickly. The data speed is a lot faster, probably twice as fast, honestly, down as my home network. So it's loading it more than fast enough to watch it. So H2O can definitely handle high quality YouTube videos, downloads, installing apps, that sort of thing, streaming music. All of that should work quite well. The data speed, even without LTE, is really fast. So basically, I chose an AT&T provider because they offer good coverage and decent data speeds. I chose H2O because they were definitely the best deal. The activation process is fairly easy and quick. The speed test, as you saw in watching YouTube, the data speed is really very a very decent speed. 7 megabytes per second, almost 7 megabytes per second is a very good speed. 
Well, this has been Nick from this is Nick from Android Fan Network. Don't forget to check out Android Fan Network for more Android coverage.